One of the great things about a job like this are the characters I get to meet as I move from A to B and wherever I happen to be. And today, I can say, uh, on behalf of everybody listening, that we are honored to have an audience with some leaves. And these are leaves who are floating on the water, and they decided to give me the time of day. And, you know, well, without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to the leaves. Leaves, how are you guys doing? Really? That, that is just, you know, I love things like that. So, as I explained, the way it's going to work is that rather than have me actually ask you questions, I happen to have a collection of questions sent in by listeners. These are sort of questions that can be used in any occasion. And so I'm going to sort of pop a few of these questions in your direction, and hopefully at the end of it all, we will have a better understanding of leaves. We'll both be a lot closer. Well, the first one is from Griselda Guru Ninja, and yes, that, that's right, it's, it's an amazing name. I, I quite enjoy the sort of semi-alliteration between the Griselda and the Guru Ninja bit, but yes, but shall we? No, I'm not trying to be rude, but we need to get onto her question, because she has a question for you. And the question is, what does being a leaf mean to you? Could you just, you know, share a few thoughts on that? Mm hmm That, I see. And you, possibly, possibly, possibly. Well, with, I wouldn't, ri of course you could say that, you could say that, and, and that is a valid point, it is a valid point. Yes. Okay, that, well, I, I, that does clear a few things up. I mean, I had no idea the life of a leaf was anything like this. It, this is a, a massive, massive revelation to, I think, not just to myself, but to, I suppose, most of humanity. The next question, and um, it comes from a Mr. Mufafafala, Mr. Mufafafala Bolinze, Mr. Mufafafala Bolinze, and he asks, would you rather be sucked up by one of those leaf cleaning machines or end your days on a compost heap? And I think, exactly, exactly, it is it is just that kind of question, and well, I'm glad to hear you're excited about it. So I see, yes. And would you say, would you then say, would you then? Mm-hmm. Of course, of course, of course. And that... Yes, yes, that's why I... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, we've had measurements of this, this... Um... Yes, that's what I was going to say. You took the words right out of my mouth. But we, ha we have, of course, and it's just great to get your view on this. Now, um, we have another question. Do we have time? Yes, yes, okay. Okay, this one is from Linda Yao, I believe. Linda Yao. Um, and 
she says, what is tree life? She wants to know a little about tree life. Is it a lot of fun? Yes, of course. Well, we... Mm hmm yeah, I... Absolutely. And... Okay. Ah, yeah, I... Do you know, I don't think any of us ever thought about the crowding. No, I'm not saying it's negative, but I, I mean, you brought it up. I, I had no idea about crowding. That is true. That is true. But I... Yes. It... Well, I find that a very silly reason to end an interview. I just I'm just going to be very honest here and think it's it's I wouldn't say embarrassing I don't know if you understand that concept as leaves but well then I can simply say good day to you as well <laughs>